the solve, Chris does the blue V. He starts off by solving this blue red edge while also moving this blue yellow edge over here, which sets it up to go down here. When you solve this center like that, and then he rotates and does two flip. So on this solve, doing a two flip like like that is not really that good because that does that takes nine moves and kind of a bad rotation. Like what you could have done for that V is a seven move two flip, which goes like this. And there are a lot of variations of this 7 of 2 flip that you can learn. For example, on yellow, you can do this 7 of 2 flip, which cancels. And you can cancel like that, which gives, I think, saves two moves. So yeah, learn 7 move 2 flips. On the scramble, Chris does the yellow V, which he solves with it in the front. He does U, and then does that, and then he does L4E. So your solution for this V was not great, mostly because you did it in the front, and then you had to rotate. Which, so it wasn't a terrible solution, but there are better things you can do if you learn the right finger tricks. So for example, you can do a very similar V on yellow, but do it with the B move. And you can do that, like, instead of doing like that, you're essentially just doing that but from a different angle. So that would be like L and preserving this, you bring it up, R, bring that down with a B and then R prime. And so the way you would finger trick that, it's like L, R, B, R prime. And that also gives you a better case which I don't expect you to see, but the V is better. On this scramble, Chris does green. He starts off by solving this center so that he can create a bar like that. Then he rotates, inserts this green red edge, and gets a nice L4E case. So once again on this scramble, you solved your V on the front, which is not something you want to do that often. So there were better options that you could have done. So this is fairly easy to see. It's similar to your V, but instead of doing it like that, if you move this the other way, you see how that gets paired up? You can see that look right there. That will get paired up. So all you have to do is move the center first. So then when you do those three moves, it solves the V. And the way you can do that, like to finger trick it, is to use a B move again. And so you would do R, L prime, B, L, and then you just get L for you. On the scramble, Chris does red. He starts off by pairing up the red-yellow edge and the red-blue edge in one move with their senders, like that. And then you can just go ahead and solve them. And if you see here, that also solves a layer. And then he just did two flips like that. The solution is not that bad, but there are some issues with your execution. Like when you were doing this B move, you kind of did it badly and then locked up a little bit on the two flip. And if you kept looking, there are 
better solutions that don't involve doing two flip because you don't want to try doing two flip if you can avoid it so if you did green this three move v you get this case which is a lot better this is a little bit harder to see but you can force a nice l3 e case here if you solve that center and then do that however you see that that gives you two flip so you can do l r prime l prime to solve that and then insert that and it gives you a easy l3 e case that's not something i expect you to see too much but you should start looking a little bit more into forcing l3 e when it's easy to On this scramble, Chris does the green V. He sees that he can solve the green blue edge and the green red edge pretty easily. So all he has to do is bring the green blue edge over here, which sets it up in place for when you solve this center, that'll pair up. And then that also brings up the green red edge so that you can pair it up here. So that looks like this to bring it in position, to put it there while solving that center. That edge is right there, and solve the V, rotate, and do L4E. So the solution that you did was good. However, the way you finger tricked your L4E algorithm was kind of questionable. So the first move where you started like that, that's not terrible, I do that sometimes. However, after that, it kind of looked like you were just flicking from the back. And so here's a better way of finger tricking that case. So you can do flick from the front like this. And that sets you up with this finger to do that move. And then here you can do that again like that. So that looks like this. And if you were going to finger trick it the other way, you can do it like like that. Okay, so the biggest things for you to work on are to try solving your V's not on the front. I know it kind of can seem difficult. You will need to learn a lot of new finger tricks, especially for the way you do your U moves. Definitely want to start learning B moves, which I will try to make a video on soon about Pyramid's finger tricks. And you also want to start trying to force L3E in like really easy cases. Like if you were going to build a V, like if you're trying to build the green V, you should be able to recognize like, oh, if I have this edge, when I want to pair it up like that, if there's a bar here, I can force L3E. E. So stuff like that, it's pretty useful to learn and it can really make your solves more efficient.